Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be looking at the destination selector and so we're going to start off at the end with our 16 tracks. So to make sure that all your tracks line up properly it is best to start with your tracks. So you just want to do 16 lines of tracks all the way along. Once you've done this you want to join these up into pairs and then once you pair them all up join them up into pairs pairs and then pair them up so you're then left with one single track. In this uh, destination selection we're using a feature of minecart tracks where if it's going around a corner like so you can change which direction it's going in by placing redstone torch underneath it see it changes changes back so that's what we're using in our system now to choose which destination we go to we have to choose whether to turn left and right here left or right here left or right here left or right here so we've got four lines of choosing whether to go left or right this makes up our 16 destinations so for destination one we just want to con continue to go left all the way and left is off so we want all the torches no left is on yeah left is on so we want all the torches underneath here to be on so we come under here see it's on and then if we come under here even though the track didn't go this way this light is still on okay so to then choose select our destinations what we have to do is join up all these four lines so we've got a line here even though it only consists of one torch we've got a line here and a line here and a line here so we've got, got to choose whether that line is on or off so we can join these up to these four torches I mean four redstone lines with these redstone lines we can then choose whether to go left or right so to begin with what I did for this system was I basically just had four levers but then that means I have to remember what east, east each destination is so I have to remember that one is left 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 no left 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 yeah so four lefts and that two would be left 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 right so what I did then is I used Hatter's uh, destination selector uh, link in the description to tutorial on that um, so that that could select your destination this uh, has a special feature so it when you put that one it resets that one that's the uh, nice functionality of Hatter's destination selector and then if I see selected one here uh, I take this underground to save space but then you see here that all the lines are off which means that then all these lines are off but remember the lights underneath are then on and then when you are taking up uh, down below you have to remember to invert it because then this is inverted again if you know what I mean and then you just have your lines where you can have one going up so this would be two where you remember we said we want left 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 then right because then that one would turn on if we selected two see two and see that light turns on and that would mean it goes right and then you can just continue this along so that would be two this is four five six seven eight nine no, sorry. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and then this is number sixteen, where we go right every single time. So it's the opposite of number one. And then down below we still have the same as we did for the other ones. We just marked up the different 
lights. Okay. Uh, one feature I did add to uh, the system from before is when I press the go button you see that light turns off and then when that cart reaches this if you're in it it won't lose momentum so fast then when the cart reaches its destination there you go um, the light will turn on again so that means the next person come in, can come in so this will work fine for servers I uh, hope you understand this if you still have any questions please ask in the comments section below Oh, I'll just quickly run you through this little thing. Um, there's detect rails at each destination, which are all joined up together. So the signal comes down through. These repeaters is to extend the signal. And we can put repeaters here because uh, it's only going one way. We only want it to go that direction. And then this comes to a light down there. You can keep this underground. I just chose to put it up ground so you can see what I'm doing. And so this light comes up here. So if something here, the light's on. If not, the light is off. And then this comes to a kind of vertical iris nor latch. Switching it round, which means the light turns on. But then uh, if you press the button, it sends an inverted signal around here turning that line pardon me that line on switching around the iris nor latch so the light turns off until the cart reaches its destination thank you very much for watching i hope to see you next time bye